This is my jigsaw map. I am building the first room. Quickly check how tall it is. Four blocks. Okay. I think we'll do. Let's see. We could do five or six blocks. This will be the fifth. We'll just have to see how I feel about it. Okay. If we go all the way around for the fifth, this pattern just you guys build one of these and then build another one a block away. So, like here, it's kind of just lines if you think about it. If you look at it from this way, it's just lines going this way. And then you look at it this way, it's lines going this way. So it's just lines. Two sets of lines coming from two different sides. And let's see, is five tall enough? Yeah, five should be tall enough. So now we just add our roof for this part of the building. Oops, went a little too far. Once we're done adding the roof, we can think of a trap to build inside. Oh. And we can think right now for a trap that we could put inside of here. I would go with simple and classic reverse bear trap, but that isn't really possible in Minecraft if it ever becomes possible. Then I will build a sequel to this map that it is in. So I'll just have to stay updated. So pretty much the basis is this room is the starter room. You spawn in there. You come out here. Well, you don't come out here. Oh, dang it. I keep breaking that sign. And here is a button. You click that button, it activates this command block. Copy it if you want, though these coordinates will be your own. Whichever coordinates these are set to. Then this one is to make it say, wanna play game slash title at A will make it go, at A will make it go to everybody title want to play a game this command will make it say want to play a game now I'm going to replace this sign. <clears throat> it will say... Uh, 
we find the center of the room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is this center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hopefully y'all will be smarter and do this before you turn off the lights. So you place those just so that people can see so that they know that there's stuff that they're meant to do and of course i'm assuming that if you're in this this map will be designed to just play messages but if you are playing by your with your friends you can get rid of those messages via breaking the command blocks and then kind of just build your own like little room on the side like say you want to be jigsaw in this map instead of having it play the messages instead of having it play the messages you could so here's the center of the room you could break through here and just build a little extra room out here. Of course, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to have displayed messages. So once they get here, find the center again. I realize you cannot place things on here. Which, if I'm correct, I need to come out here real quick. Go to this side instead. I'm like 90% sure you're spawning on the block. No, you'll spawn here, which is good. So I can have it to where you land on a pressure plate, displaying a message. Crap. Okay, don't mind this. I forgot where I landed. I need to place a block there. Plus, I need to fix this area. You're going to see me coming back here a lot to see where I spawn and stuff. So that's where that spawn is. And I'm just going to quickly come down here. Repair the wall. Fly back up here. I just built this, I think, like 25 blocks above the ground. Maybe a little more. Just to make sure that it wouldn't interfere, interfere with the traps that I'm building. Like, some of them will be down inside of the floor. And... So, I had to make it to where you could actually be down there. Okay, so now I need to get a pressure plate that, of course, will not match the floor. Or maybe I can make it to where you walk forward onto it. Okay. Pressure plate, pressure plate, pressure plate. Where are those? In here. What pressure plate should we go with? I'm gonna go with this one, just so it has the dark tone. And we're just going to place it all around. 
so that you'll spawn here no matter where you go, you're going to display the message. Alright, so we need to have redstone here, 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 and here, so just all around this to display pretty much. Actually, I think it'll work through a block. So maybe I can just put the command blocks here. First, I might have to check if it works through a command block. Well, through a block. Okay, just put that there. Yeah, it'll work through a block. Good. So we can just put command blocks here and have them display like what you do okay so we need to did i delete the command box if so that sucks yes yes i did i deleted the command box so slash give an s man forgot to put the m and underscore block one now we have the command block we just put these all around here and we'll have them do the same thing uh i believe hmm these multiple people are going to be coming it's a multiplayer game uh -oh. We're going to have to think, how could we get it to just... Oh, we could just do... Hold on, I need to make sure this is the right, right command. Slash me. Display some message about yourself. We'll just say... Potato. Yes, it puts it in the chat, but it says my user tag. We want one that doesn't. Slash... Let's see. MSG, maybe? No, because that'll also say me. Unless, maybe, if I use this, slash, M, S, G, A, hello, we're just going to use that. No, it says you whisper. We don't want it to say that. I guess it's fine if it says I'm a you whisper. That would be fine. So the message will be we can't put the messages in because we don't know what we want the traps to be yet. We don't know what the trap's gonna be yet. So we'll just do this command slash msg at a not s at a slash msg at a I believe this command works on both Java and Bedrock because I play Bedrock specifically slash msg a, and I actually need to check, I might have put MSJ on one of these. Nope, they all say MSG. That's good, that's good. Okay, so they all say MSG. So, now we have to come up here and think about what trap we want to do. Uh, maybe we could do, like, uh, Let's see, I'm actually going to quickly look up what are some traps, so I'll be back in a minute. I can't remember any off the top of my head, so we're just going to quickly sit still and look it up. Okay. Jigsaw traps. We gotta find a good one too. Okay, his category of traps. 
There's the reverse bear trap, which I can't do. Public execution. Can't do that one either. Can't do the death mask. Hmm. Maybe I could look up that would work in Minecraft. While we're doing this, fun fact, did you know that all of the jigsaw traps were made to work in real life? Minecraft. Hmm. See, I really don't want to have to copy off of somebody's video, because that's kind of mean. You know what, we'll just make our own traps, and then just, yeah, we'll just create our own traps. With this new, not really new, it's not new anymore, but with this update that came out recently, they did add a few things that are good for traps. Like they added um, uh, these. Polished dripstone. We could use those for like a trap. Ooh, I got a good one. We'll have to make the ceiling larger because I'm gonna have these just all over the ceiling. And then I'm gonna have it to where, like, the blocks holding them will delete after so long. But how can I do that? This is not Java, so I can't just create a redstone tick signal thing. Hmm. I, since I'm gonna be Jigsaw, as you can tell by my skin, I'm gonna be the Jigsaw in this case. So maybe I could just manually make it happen after a certain amount of time. But then again, we'd have to figure out a way that they could get out. So I'll work on that first. Only way they could get out is... Hmm. Maybe make them find clues or something. Yeah, I could try that. Get them to find a specific amount of clues. And once they find them all, they can answer a riddle. And if they get it right, I free them. Yeah, that would work. I can make it to where it... So, like, I'll use signs, which I already have. And tell them that they have to collect a certain amount of things and have, like, chests all over the room. Yeah, that could work. Have chest all over the room, and things that you can store it in. So like, a chest... Here, let me move some stuff in my inventory. I'm gonna need this for a minute, or this, or this, or this. So... Back to this. We can have a chest that will have something in it. Barrels that will have something in it. And maybe shulkers will do black so that they're kind of hard to see. But we'll have these just all over the room. And if they find them all, they can like escape. Can these, can furnaces hold, thing in this, hold things in this version? Let me get, uh... We'll say I have to find a cactus. This probably isn't actually going to be in the game. We'll just say it for now. Oh, I accidentally clicked the thing. But we'll just put this here. Can I put the... Yeah, I can. Okay. That's good. So, 
we can make this room darker. And just hide really dark shulkers all over the place. I'm gonna take out the corner lights to make it like a ton darker. Just so they don't have it as easy to find the stuff. Because I feel like that's pretty easy to find. But just got them everywhere. And then barrels everywhere. And that way it's kind of hard. And some of these will be empty. Oh, that reminds me of a trap in the Jigsaw game. This will be the next room. So I'm not going to spoil it now. The next room will have this trap. So they're obviously going to see these scattered across, but it's not like it'll matter because a ton of these will be empty. I keep stepping on it. Okay, now they're just scattered all over the room. He's got two minutes left in this quarter. How long are the quarters? Four yeah, six minutes. So... Ha, uh, get called out. Alright, so we actually don't need these lights because we don't need to bother. So that's where we're spawning, and then there's pressure plates all around it. Hopefully they don't just keep stepping on the pressure plates, because that'll be annoying. But, I need to remember that I have to go in here. Okay. The message, what could we make it say? By the way, after I'm done finishing this room up, I'm probably going to end this video. And I'll just create another one tomorrow, after my school. Okay, message at a round you you will see a chest more inside some Hints to my uh, to my riddle. Solve it, and you can leave. Fail. And you die. Good luck. No, we ain't even gonna end it with a period. We're gonna end it with an exclamation mark. Okay, so there's my message. And of course you can't copy, so I'll have to just write this like seven times. I'll quickly take a photo with my phone so it's easier to take over to the other ones. What? Sorry, my phone's being stupid. Okay. Got the photo. Now we can go to the other ones. So we did this one. Now we do this one. Around you. 
you will see that's one too many E's. Chest oh. and more. Inside some, I realized I spelled it wrong on the other one. Or hints to my riddle. Solve it. the other one and fix this. I spelled some wrong on the other one. I spelled it S U. Uh, not really. I can't see my keyboard. I will. Okay, on to this one. Two more, and then we're done with this. Around you are. Oh, you will see. Around you, you will see chest and more. Inside some are hints to my riddle. Solve it and you. I need to make sure I spelled that right. Yeah. I also didn't write that on my other one. I am really messing up. Sorry guys, if I have to keep going back, I keep making mistakes. Oh, I did, I just forgot one thing. That, the exclamation mark. Boom, boom, final one. is the right thing. Yeah. Okay. Now all of these have their set things. I could break all the stuff under them, but I'm not going to because I think it adds to the character of the map. The last thing we have to do for this trap is, well, first off, check it. Around you, 
around you you will see chest and more. Inside some are hints to my riddle. Solve it and you can leave. Fail and you die. Good luck. Okay, that's right. Oops, almost stepped on it again. Now, we do actually need something that I said we wouldn't be getting. We don't need these anymore because I already have them all put down. We still need this because we will be dropping it to kill them. But something that I said we wouldn't be needing for this map, we actually need for a quick second. A torch. We just need it to quickly illuminate where all the chests are so that we know where all we have to fill. There will be three hints. There will be three hints. After each hint is completed or found, they will under they so each hint is part of the riddle. It will say riddle part 1, riddle part 2, riddle part 3. So you'll have to find each of them and when you do find each of them you'll put them together read them out and then you'll have to answer my riddle if you complete it i will click a button teleporting them to the next room if they fail death which i think i might use potions instead of this i think i'll have droppers scattered all across the room Dispensers, yeah. I'll have these scattered across the room. On the roof. So it'll be like, boom, 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 boom. Just all across here. I keep stepping on it. Now I need to test something. Oh, I'm going to test something once this goes away. I'm going to see if it says it twice. Yeah, it says it twice. I guess that's fine though. I don't really care. But so we'll have dispensers set up all over, and if they fail, I click my button. Well, I'll probably use a lever, but I'll use the lever, and it'll rain um, uh, poison to get them down to extremely low, and then wither to finish them off. So that's if they get it wrong. So now we. I think I'm gonna use books. These book and quill. So I'll get three real quick because I'll need three. And then we do also need this. Actually, I don't think we do. So hit. What should our thing be? I'm gonna think of one real quick. Okay, I looked one up, it said, this one's answer is the moon, it says not many people have stepped on me, no I feel like that might be too hard, Hmm. 
This one should be pretty obvious. This one should be pretty obvious. You walk into a room that contains a match, a kerosene lamp, a candle, and a fireplace. Which would you light first? The answer is obviously a match because you can't light any of the others without a fire. So... Yeah, that one should be pretty obvious. So as long as they get all the pieces, they should be able to do this. So this will say... You walk into a room that contains dot 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 so that's all they get from that one bye <clears throat> Chigsaw, because that's kind of our map. Enter title here. Hint one. Sign and close. Now this says hint one. Book and quill. On this one we need to write. going up in a corner. Obviously, they're probably going to expect that, but we'll do hit two. Now, I'm actually going to break these so that I'll see which ones are the most hidden. Okay, final one. Should be completely dark again. I'm gonna put one in here. That's gonna be hint one. And then where was the original hint put? The first one that we did. Right here. This is where that was. So then we have one here, here, oh my, here, so we have one in that corner, one here, and then we'll do one in this barrel. And I don't feel like there's enough stuff, so we're going to also, not with a dispenser, 
So in the final, in the next episode of this, we'll be finishing this. Of course, I threw all this stuff away. Now I need more. Because we're also going to litter the floor with them. I just want them to have a hard time, really, because I figure it's a bit easy. Okay, that should be hard enough. Just one more right here. So, yeah, this room's pretty packed full with stuff. So that's a good amount. I think I might have accidentally got rid of one of my lights. Nope. Put it right next to the light, actually. Perfect. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Next episode, we'll be finishing by putting the dispensers on the top and filling them up and then starting the next level, which I will be probably on the roof because I'll... No, because that'll add light. I'll just, because the people playing will be in this room that I'm in, so I'll just monitor them there, and whenever they finish, I'll just open the, like, I'll teleport them out. But if they don't finish, then I will sadly have to, um, uh, finish them. <laughs> so, for this episode, we are actually done, sadly, and we will be posting the next part probably tomorrow after I'm done with my school, though I might be going over to my aunt's after that, so it might be in a couple days, but the next part will be posted soon. So unfortunately, bye guys, see you next time.